Hey guys, welcome to the channel and today in this lecture we are going to discuss on register API and if you not subscribe my channel, please do subscribe my channel. Okay. So guys, uh, in this register API, what we are going to do here, like this register API is working pro perfectly, you can see here. When I will up upload this uh, register API, it is working and when, when I will hit again this on this send button and this is working perfectly, smoothly working here. But uh, guys, uh, if you can see here, uh, like uh, the same record I am hitting again and uh, this same record is putting every time into the database but i need to check here like uh, uh, i want to check my email this is this email is unique or not if the email is already existed in my database so i and I, I don't want to put this record into the database okay guys so i can put uh, the uniqueness check on anything and any parameter like username email and password but username is not make sense password is not make sense here because already email is there only so what i'm going to do here like i'm going to make the external function which basically check uh, the email is existed in the into the database or not if database like if the email is already existed in database so i will not return my promise and then i will tell to my user like uh, hey user you already register by using this email so please enter like the different email so that you can register into the database right so okay guys so already i have implemented my the external function you can see here this enter into the external function.js file this is the unique email function which basically taking the parameter as the email and which basically check into my users database finding one like uh, is this email or existed or not this is basically a callback function which basically throw the error or uh, put uh, like like uh, give the result right okay if the yeah, error we are getting so uh, something like a database error and uh, if we are getting the results it's mean we have the email already existed into the into our database right so we are not resolving the promise we are rejecting the promise and if not then we will resolve the email because email is not existing into the database okay so i'm going to implement uh, this external function into my this code okay so when the user hit this uh, this register api which is basically i'm checking here what we are checking this username email and password field should be fit by using this function is set as not empty okay so I will explain all the things but just uh, listen to me carefully what I'm doing what I'm trying to do here right so I am just uh, using this external function dot because uh, I have the function name is unique email so I'm just passing a unique email and uh, what I'm doing to do what I'm going to do here like uh, in this external email I'm just passing email so this is basically a function so I'm passing my email so email because of uh, I already store my email in this variable email right and uh, this is basically returning what returning the promise right so I'm going to do what here I'm just uh, using dot then dot then okay which is basically return uh, the function as a callback here function and uh, which have uh, something like email or result you can say if we'll get the result result it's mean what we don't have this email okay it's mean it's mean we don't have any okay same okay so guys if we are getting the promise it means we are getting if we are inside then function it's mean we don't have this email which is um you know entered by uh, the user end user right so what i'm going to do here like cut this thing and put this here okay correct so guys i just want to show you the the step by step all the things right so i just want to see if this code is running or not just checking here okay so this record is already existed in my database so i'm not i uh many quick code handle nahi kiya par, koi catch function nahi laga hai. so this is the reason why i'm not getting any uh the result on my console okay so i'm going to put like catch function here so 
this also have basically a callback function which basically have a something like error if we'll get the error so we need to return return what return something like um, uh, the object right so the status will be like uh, I want to make 401 and uh, the message I want to show to the user like please please fill unique email okay let's just try once just hit to the send button is this working or not I don't know this is not working I think okay hit to the send button is this working or not I think not working here okay oh so so my fault is what I think my fault is I'm not returning correctly here uh, so I need to response dot JSON this is I need to do every time sorry this is my mistake actually yes yes correct this is my mistake sorry for this yeah so this time we will get the response this is, yeah we're getting like uh, this email already existed so that so that's the reason we are getting this result so how the function is get uh, working here I can show you when this register API will work then it will take uh, the all the parameter by the request so we'll get the request like uh, username email and password all the fields which is already here so my action function will work when this function basically check is the username email and password will filled by the user or not if the field then external function will work external function have uh, the unique email function which basically do what like uh, this un unique email function basically check uh, the given is this given email already is, is in the database or not if not then this will uh, return the promise and this callback function basically run so this code this entire code you can see here this will run okay and if not if already into the database in already existed the database into the database this email right so this uh, basically go through the catch block and this basically show you a message the please uh, fill the unique email otherwise this will work so this will, if, if this will work then user schema in into the user schema will create the username email and password basically we are entering all the records into the database and we are successfully registering our user into the data database right so this is how we are working here correctly and perfectly this is the real world scenario thank you so much guys for watching the video and if you like this video so please do like to give a big thumbs up to this video thank you so much guys